Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon. We are joined by the fabulous Lisa Richardson. <laughs> You'll see her on 843 TV from time to time. We've had you, you've been with HHI for a long time. Yes, yeah. six years, believe it or not. Oh, it's just yes. wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love seeing you on yes, screen. Love thank it. you. Thank um, you. So we're talking about Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Yes. For anybody who might not know about this organization, how long you've been around, what it is you all do, and, and who you serve, because you got a cool event coming up. We sure do. And I am so excited and loved uh, being able to work full-time for Fellowship Christian Athletes for seven, going on seven years wow. now. And where what we do is FCA is a national, actually international organization, but South Coastal here is our area, and we serve serve Beaufort County, Hampton and Jasper County. And primarily we work within our schools, our area schools and into the athletics, coaches and teams. And what we do is we do, we share the heart and soul of sports, the behind the scenes stuff, the character traits, the on a faith-based um, spectrum. And so that's what we're doing, working with these local area coaches and athletes in our community. So it kind of merges with the existing programs. Yes, well, of course it's an optional opportunity for anyone involved in our school system. And we do things before school and after school. It's voluntary. Uh, we're holding things with um, on campus. Um, and now we're getting back more back on campus that things are going back to somewhat of a normal schedule right. here as we go. Right. And so we come on the campus and we train up students and they lead. So it's about training the students to be leadership or other coaches to lead. And they work um, in a group and they host kind of like a club on campus. Gotcha. And maybe a Christian club. And it's through the sports and they talk about, you know, how, adversity, how do I come adversity? Things that you deal with in sports and in life, overcoming things and just relying on your faith in, in that regard. Sure, I mean, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of uh, intensity, anxiety and reactivity. Absolutely. Within families, mm -hmm. between friends right now, you know, so having that kind of guidance, how to, you know, yes. I, I always say the word navigate, but how to, you know, navigate and apply. That's such an important yeah. thing, especially in these last couple of months when people, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of unknowns, a lot of uncertainties. So we're here to say, hey, look, you know, rely on your faith over fear right. and that kind of thing. So it's been even more important in these last few months. And we've been extra busy because of it, sure. believe it or not. Okay, so yeah. parents, how can parents find you? Mm -hmm. Is it in all the schools or, or how, how does one get Right involved? now, we uh, have been in 34 schools in the three counties, uh, middle schools and high schools, both public and private. And if uh, anyone's in, interested involved, the best thing they can do is go to our website, southcoastfca.org, or email us, and the um, email will be on the screen, news at southcoastfca, and we'll, we'll talk to them and see how they could best be plugged in yeah. to their area. That Is there kind of an age range of kids that you work with? Middle and high school. Okay, mm -hmm. middle and high school. So do you all have some needs? You have the um, Fields of Faith event coming up. We do. And so let's talk a little bit about that and if there are needs that you all have that, you know, folks can get involved and donate in some way, but talk about that yes, event coming sure. up. Yes, sure. Well, this is an exciting annual event that FCA does nationally. Typically, it's uh, 400 events that go on on the same night oh, in fun. October across the country. And uh, this year here, we're going to be doing it October 28th. Typically, we are at the high school athletic fields and we do three events normally, one in Bluffton or Hilton Head, one over in Jasper or Hampton, and then over in Beaufort. But this year, because of COVID, and we thought we're gonna consolidate, we're gonna do one event at the drive-in, Highway 21 in Beaufort. Fun, oh fun. Yes. Okay, so what's it look like? What, what What's happening at the event? Yes, well, the event, the purpose of the event is a night for communities to gather. And for students, it's student speakers. They share, uh, their story, uh, testimonies of faith, words of encouragement. There's live music with a live band. And it's just a night to come together and just in, be inspired. And again, you know, hey, times are tough sometimes, but let's, you know, you can rely on your faith to get through these times here. I think having that kind of a testimonial, I mean, it's good in so many ways for kids yes. to be able to develop their communication skills, that, yes. public speaking. Absolutely. I mean, that's a big deal to be able to also it is. have your voice going through a microphone. That's a totally new experience. You know, that sort of thing as well. What incredible. So how do you help the kids get prepared for that? How long in advance are you training? Well, these are kids that we know well and that we've worked with and have shown their potential and leadership and the desire to want to speak out. You know, Carrie, speaking out and speaking up and stepping out for the, your faith and the right thing in today's times is so hard, yeah. not just for students, but for adults. So these are kids who have shown um, desire to do that. And they, you know, we kind of have them have in mind who we think might be, well, good, but most of them step up and say, you know what, I'd love to be a speaker this year. And so we just decide and determine who might fit, best fit that 
And uh, you mentioned about public speaking. I mean, these kids typically are speaking to an audience of several hundred people in a football stadium. Uh, that's kind of bananas. Yeah. You know, that's wonderful. I mean, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this year, like we said, you know, it'd be easy to just say, you know what, we're not doing it this year because right. restrictions and so much, but it's so needed. Yeah. right now so we and thought so what, are, what are you guys doing like the parameters like so what can we expect what do you need to bring you know good question um highway 21 driving out in beaufort yeah. i think the driving's gotten a, a resurgence of popularity over Completely. these last months so, so much fun yes yeah, so we're gonna do it over there it's uh 6 30 to 8 p.m okay uh, the gates will open at six you come in first hundred people get free food chick-fil-a and nice. you're gonna watch from your car and or your vehicle space you can bring a blanket bring some uh, chairs however you like and the cool thing is the speakers now will be on the big screen so uh, give a shout out to community bible church and Buford because they're going to help us with all that technology and broadcast the speakers on the screen. They'll record it for us so we can, it can be watched later on. Oh, that's So it'll be great. extra fun. We are going to have a live band there too. Oh, perfect. Now it's going to be live broadcast. Can you zoom in on the chance that you're? Well, we had planned for that, but oh. the internet is a little um, and out there. Has hazy yeah, out there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. just to prevent any mishaps. Just go. I mean, just go. Like, put on your calendar. The 28th. The 28th. 28th it's October. a Wednesday night, beautiful evening under the stars. And it's, it's a good time too. Get there at six o'clock. It's your space, yep. right? Get a little Chick-fil-A. Who doesn't love Chick-fil-A, right? Exactly. 28th of October, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Lisa Richardson, always so good to see you. Thank you, Carrie. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town.